Ow. Ow. Yeah, this is an accurate representation of what it feels like to be a woman every month. No. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. Today we're going to be playing Tomb Raider. Don't forget to like this episode, comment down below what your favorite part is, and subscribe with a friend. We love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh, we're in a boat? This is a boat, right? When life flashes. Oh jeez, I thought we were going to start in a plane. I thought, I thought the game started on a plane. Okay, cool. Unless this is the future. This is the future. Oh, hey, we got saved. No, We're I dead. don't think this is the future. This is a plane. Oh, this is a plane. You went from a boat to a plane? We went from a plane to a boat. No? No, you're on a boat and you're going to a plane. No, I think this is still a boat. We're just going from one half of the boat to the other half of the boat. Where's the plane? I don't think maybe there isn't any plane. That's got beautiful cleavage there. Yeah, I know. She's, yeah. Laura's cute. I like Laura. You know, they definitely toned down her uh, her sexuality, but you know, I don't think people deny that Laura is still very very hot, and she's a strong, independent woman, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, her being cute or her being attractive does not negate her being strong and freaking you know badass, right, guys? Absolutely. Why is she crawling like that on the beach? Because she's freaking just almost drowned. I'm, I'm not here. gonna hear you in the rain with the torrential storm going on. Go get him, Laura. Go get your friends. They're not gonna hear you. Oh! oh! Right in the freaking knockers, bro. That's not what they call the face, is it? No. <laughs> no. Knockers are the boobs. Yeah, you're, you're right. My bad. It's fine. It's, a f it's okay. There's skulls everywhere, Hannah. It's, it's fine. fine. A production of. There's probably a, like a logical solution to everything. Exactly. Crystal Dynamics. Did you know that this is developed by Square Enix? Yes, I did. <laughs> because it was on the title screen. Hey, Laura. Hanging How's it hanging? Uh, <laughs> I love how we make the same <laughs> stupid jokes. <laughs> Dang, dude. Wow. <laughs> you hanging a little bit off to the right or off to the left today? <laughs> oh, it's up to you to decide. Actually, we got to go a little bit right. I mean, Ooh. all in all. Over here... Here. It doesn't look that bad, right except you probably would die from the le from the blood rushing to your head. Yes. Well, you only have like a limited amount of time, right? Well, I mean, isn't that like you're not supposed to be upside down? So the blood rushes down to your head and you die. You start going unconscious, I think, right? Yeah. Like dizzy. I mean, yeah. I think you only have like five minutes or something. I, I don't thought know. you had like a couple hours. Houdini. Hours? I'm pretty sure really? was upside down for a couple hours. Houdini. I thought Houdini was upside down for a couple hours, just cause. I don't know, was he? I don't know. That guy was crazy. <laughs> he locked himself in a box too and threw himself in yeah. the water. So who? Dumb what does ass. he know? Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, this is an accurate representation of what it feels like to be a woman every month. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get, get paid out, around Laura. about right there too. Yeah. Right, right there. Nice. Mhm. Mm you okay there, and Laura? Then this is oh, exactly good. how you walk. <laughs> 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 That's how you walk too, dang dude. I'm sorry, I didn't like. I I, I do not um, envy that at all. Oh my gosh, it's terrible! It's horrible. Hey, cool skulls, what bodies. What is this? What to you? <laughs> they don't like hippies. See, this is one thing that that I I I, I keep laughing he about. Obviously, the game. was tied up. It's like if you were to look. L Laura is a college grad. She just graduated, right? Right. So if you were to like, th this is her origin story. I would story. guess like satanic ritual. If you were to like get jumped Candles, off of a plane or a boat or whatever, get stranded. Skulls, blood, human see sacrifice. See all this. See this dude's body just like laying in there. I mean, I would think like some type of like, you know. You wouldn't be like, oh my God, what happened to you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? Would you like a mocha frappuccino? I'm sure it'll perk you right up. You would be like, what the... Ho what the? 
What, what, what? How come we're not looking at the other skeleton what? dude and asking him if he's having a good day? You be like freaking just because the one out. guy has flesh and the other guy doesn't. I mean, we should be like, how are no, you doing about, today? We don't care about these guys. We care about the one that still has flesh on him. Yeah, but he could be dead for all we but know. Like I'd be like spazzing out. I'd be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, well, I guess I guess we got a torch. Well then, remind me not to take you over when that we was like. That was loud. She says. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like so nonchalant about this, bro. Remind me like to not take you along if we go see it, satanic ritual sacrifices bro. because if we're spazzing out the whole time, we're not going to be able to I think I mean, if clearly. you tell me where I'm going, then maybe I can mentally prepare. All right, fine. Then I will tell you when we go look at right, satanic ritual sacrifice stuff or whatever. Okay, I don't fine. know. All right, cool. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. See, like, she's like, oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no, they must have heard me. Oh, well. We do love this game, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. I, freaking, this game is dope. I, I think I've only... I played all of them except for, like, the third one. I've only got th halfway through the third one or something like that. I don't remember. I played the third one, and I played the first one. Yeah? So I don't know if I played the second, the second one. one. Huh? <laughs> Actually, not gonna lie, I feel like the second one I don't remember much. I don't know. I'm if pretty I sure I did beat one. it though. Oh my gosh! Oh oh oh! You would definitely not be allowed in Walmart. Put a shirt on, Are please. You kidding me? Walmart has like freaking weird people, dude. No, you can't. You can't walk in without a shirt. They kick really? you out. Yeah, you have to have shirt and you have to have shoes. I don't think there's a rule about pants though. I've seen girls like go. Never mind. You can't be topless in Walmart. There's an actual rule on that. <laughs> There's a rule. Oh, yeah. Like people break people, these rules, Anna. Like, if people go to the beach and they want to walk in the store, they're not allowed to walk in the store without a shirt on. Oh, for real? Yeah. All right. That's they cool. stop you at the door and they I mean, say, cool, you whatever. need to put a shirt on. And if you're walking in barefoot, they stop you at the door and they say, I'm sorry, sir. You need to put shoes on or carry this oh, child. Oh, is that where the no shoes, no shirt, no service thing comes from? I don't know, but you have to have a shirt, you have to have shoes in order to be able to go into Walmart. If a baby goes in without shoes, the baby can't walk anywhere. You have to carry the baby. Flash. I know, right? You're like, bro, I'm trying to go to Walmart to buy the shirt and the shoes. Nope. No if shoes, I had no it shirt. already, I wouldn't be here. They're like, nope, I'm sorry. We cannot cover you with stickers. These are not pasties. You must have a shirt. Pasties? <laughs> you know what pasties are? It's the thing that you put on your nips. Yeah. That's not what the smiley face stickers at Walmart are used for. <laughs> they give out smiley face stickers at Walmart. I've never been to a Walmart. Oh, my gosh. I've actually never been to a Walmart. You walk into the Walmart. Oh, let me explain the Walmart experience to you, okay? Okay. You roll up into the parking lot. It's always super, super, super hot. You never know why. It's just always boiling hot. Okay. So by the time you walk up to the door, you are sweating like a pig. And then you have these greeters at the door who are wearing blue vests. I've seen those in memes. And they give you a sticker. Sometimes they have the generic smiley face stickers, and if you get lucky, they'll have a Disney-themed sticker. They give you sticker stickers at, at, as a greeting? Every single one. Every single person that to walks into the store. Everybody? everybody. Really? You can get a sticker. That's kind of cool. And if you want another sticker, they'll give you another sticker. <laughs> really? Yeah. One time I was like, can I have another one? Because they had Disney stickers, and then they had the smiley face ones. And I was like, can I have another one? I want this one. And they're like, oh, okay, sure. That's actually kind of adorable. So they give you a sticker, and they say, hi, welcome to Walmart. I hope you have a wonderful day, or something like that. So they greet you. These people are hired to greet you at the door. And Why that's do we hate Walmart? Then? The greeters are the people that also tell you, please put a shirt on, put shoes on, otherwise you're not allowed into the store. Because they have a whole ton of people that usually come into the store all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you're like by a beach or something, then um, a lot of people don't have shirts on. You need to have a shirt and shoes in order to be able to walk into the store. I want to go to a Walmart. And then if you're there when the Walmart first opens and you go over to the bakery section, they give you a card where they give you free cookies for life. One card gives you one free cookie every single time you go into a Walmart. So per day. They freaking would hook you up with free stuff, bro. Why yeah, are we I had not? Yeah, these, I had these Man. cookie club cards, which were basically just pieces of paper, but we laminated that ish. <laughs> Dang. We laminated it and kept it for a few years, okay? We Ouch, kept it guy. for a few years. That guy's not having a good time. We always used it. We used it for years at at, at Walmart's and... Um, and then actually when we went over to China and we came back, we still we were still able to use the card. 
and get a free cookie. They gave you a, like a generic white sugar cookie with no frosting. Climb, Laura, climb. But they give, they give one per person for everyone that goes to the new opening. It's what they used to do. So if you get like a ton of people to go, then they'll give you one card for every single person. Yeah? Isn't this cinematic as fudge? Yes, it is. Look at that. Go, go, Laura. You can do this. You're going to be the Tomb Raider that we all know and love. I think she died. I think Walmart in general is cheaper than Target. Walmart, from what I mean, Walmart's like the place to buy video games because they're always like at least ten dollars off, right? Even if sometimes, even if they're like new releases. And I know that like uh, sometimes um, I've missed out on it, but like sometimes they screw up their inventory or whatever, and they mark down games that are sixty bucks to like three dollars. That's like online though. Yeah, no, you have to go there. I rem no, I mean sometimes online, sometimes you do go there. But I remember one time, uh, I think they were like selling Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2, mm -hmm. for like three bucks. And like, I, I remember people getting like mad copies of it. Man, I mean, I, I would have picked up a bunch of them too. I wasn't here. I wasn't. First of all, even if I was in the States. We are not near a Walmart. There's, we're not near a Walmart, you know? Which sucks, because we live in New York. And New York doesn't have Walmart. I mean, they do if you go far enough. I think they have one Walmart, like somewhere in, I don't know, Long Island or something. Anyways, this is, this is Tomb Raider, guys. Isn't it cool? Laura's doing fine. Don't worry about her. Yeah. She still has her, you know, cramps. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. All right, Laura, let's continue on your adventure. She just survived uh, an onslaught of, like, things that went down in there. It's fine. Falling rocks, dudes that are hippie-like. What are we looking at? Satanic rituals. What are we looking at? What? We're looking at a mountain. I thought we saw a person, but I'm like, all I see is records. What are we looking at? I don't know. What are we looking at? What did you see? Just, it was just a wreckage. No. You got this, Laura. Have you ever crossed between a large gap on nope. top of a tree like this? Nope. I have. Nope. Multiple times. And a river. A few rivers. Come on, get That's yourself back up. You got grape. this. Well, why don't you... Why do you have to be on two feet? Why can't you just, like, doggy, doggy your way through it? I mean, you can, but tree bark is rough. Yeah, but wouldn't it be more safe to just, like... You're going to scratch yourself all along there. It's going to be really hard to move. And if the tree isn't per fully, like, isn't fully um, lodged in there, then by dogging along, you're creating more friction and you could fall down. Really? You don't know how well the tree is lodged on the other I side. Know. I don't know how friction It'd be a lot, a well lot, a lot easier to just try to walk over there. Besides, oh. most of the time you can balance without a problem on flat level ground. So you just got to pretend that it's flat and level even though it's round. Oh, of course. And what? And super elevated. It's fine. That's the trick to, you know, like, balancing on stuff. This girl just survived the boat crash or whatever. And she's just going, bro. She's yeah. just leaping, dude. You have to have that go-getter attitude. I mean, what is her other alternative? Just to be like, oh my Rest gosh. Rest a little bit. She my just got out of the cave, crashed. okay? She could have just like sat down and be like... No, she doesn't have time to rest because they, she already got captured once. She's working on limited time. You're working against all the elements. You have to find your friends and connect with them so that in numbers, you guys are safer. You sit there and rest. You get cold. You don't have a fire. You don't have food the next day. Wolves come to attack you. You're left all alone. You're basically dead. Go sleepy time. You're basically dead. Have you not watched Survivor? Survivor is just reality TV. It's you not real life. Survivor. Not like this video game. Video games are real life, guys. They put you on an island and you have to hunt for your own food and everything. You have to what? You have to hunt for your own food. Oh. I heard you add a, a consonant in there. No. You know, consonant with the k. No, it was hunt. Okay. I almost had to bleep you there. You probably have to bleep yourself. No, I didn't say anything. I said consonant. Ridiculous. What is she taking? Cheese? Uh, I think they're uh, matches. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, like cool cheese. Cheddar cheese. Grabs that immediately before the radio, <laughs> before health products. Right? My god, cheese. Oh my oh. god, it's fine aged cheddar. <laughs> my favorite. Oh, what happened? Well, you died. Oh, ow, dude. She's well, bro. fudge. Well, cool. This is why she should have rested. No, rest now? Maybe, 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 you know, you should have pushed a button on the controller. What's that sound? A wolf. Sounded like a lady. If she doesn't get fire, she's in trouble. Who needs fire, bro? You need fire. Especially to heal. Keep wolves away from killing you and eating you. And attract all the, you know, people that are going to try to kidnap you. This game's very cinematic. I don't mind that they made uh, 
Tomb Raider a little bit more cinematic. It doesn't necessarily look abandoned. What? The fire pit? How can you tell if it's abandoned? You're not going to leave the fire lit. It could be, you know, well in use. You're not going to leave a lit fire out in the rain. You well, always have to put it out. So if it was a local that went up there every single day in the morning and set a fire, they would put the fire out. You're not going to be able to tell if it's abandoned. Okay. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Yeah. So, so well, we're, we're back really to square one now. Oh, my gosh. It's raining. You have one match. You are screwed. There's no... The probability of that one match working is super low. And it works. Of course it does. No, Why there's like working? no way. And it, it obviously it's going to catch fire immediately. Your box is going to start like dissolving. The firewood's going to be wet. And uh, this is You're going to be nervous. This isn't 99 cent boxes, bro. No, or this isn't Walmart boxes. These are premium matches. Have you ever had those matches that are labeled as survivor matches? No. I have. They're right. basically just like regular matches. No. They're survival. I've had a lot of mishaps with freaking survival matches. I like Laura's boots. Flint is a lot better. Why are they why are they taking matches? They should be having flint and steel. They and should not have matches. The matches are from the from the from the boat crew. You yeah, know? exactly. If you're on a boat crew and you have an emergency pack, you're gonna don't take pack flint? match. Yes, flint and steel. Here's the soon to be world <gasps> It's much more Arnold, reliable. Lara Croft. That is what you take. You're not gonna take a box of matches, especially if you're out in the ocean. Hey look, it's our friend. I'm close to something. She's not always this serious, you know? First? Yes, she is. Have selfie. you met Laura? She's always serious. No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Yamata, you up next time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just sit here. I don't Let's like that, dude. Let's go, Laura. All right, we got to find something to eat. See, now, we're, now we got to find something to eat. See, she's hungry. Yeah. If you were to, like, have just, you know, been in wreckage or whatever, major accident. Yeah. People strung up, apparently. Yeah. I can use that bow. You need food. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be hungry. Yes, you would. Do you know how much energy it takes to not drown? You go swimming in okay, the beach. Okay, but my point is, Laura... You go swimming in the beach Anna, for, like, a 30 I, minutes. You come out from the sand, and what do you no, want? No, no, you you're want not, a sandwich. You're not understanding me. Yeah, of course you would. Of course, anybody that's like a survival survivalist is going to be like, all right, I need this, I need this. I need. But she's a college student. Yeah. She and this was, is her first rodeo. She was trained in survival. If I was in a in like a shipwreck and everything, and it was the first time, I feel like I would probably be reacting the similar Supposedly way. Supposedly she was trained by her like, because her Especially dad. Especially if her dad was in it. Her dad would be like her dad, teaching her along yeah, but the way. No, her dad didn't. Her dad died when she was five. Yeah, but he probably had diaries that she probably read. She was brought up by like this dude who who's like, like some this. dude that like taught her these things or whatever. Yeah, so she learned it. Those type of things stick with you. But still, they come with you in the wild. She's also this rich kid, Anna. <laughs> you know that doesn't matter. Just because you have you know social status doesn't mean you don't know how to survive. <laughs> Ow! She should be spoiled, Anna. No. Spoiled people don't do nothing. Oh my gosh. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't generalize. Oh my gosh. That. Laura you Croft right. is going to be like, oh my gosh, you're from New York. You definitely can't survive in the wild. Yeah. Oh, the front door. Can you light a fire? Yes, I can with matches. Without matches? I can. I think I can. Can you Isn't hunt it a like deer? Two, two rocks and two, just rub two rocks together. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> right? <laughs> totally. Oh my God. We get it. Laura, you're hungry. Anyways, I think we should call it an episode for here. You know? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. If you want to hear more about Kevin's survival techniques of surviving in the streets of New York as Laura Croft, <laughs> let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll talk about that next episode. Let's kill things. What do we want to kill? Don't forget to like this episode, and we will see you guys next time. We love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. What are we killing? Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. <gasps> deer. Okay, bye. Kill the deer? <laughs>